Hey guys, you're riding with Marshall, and today we're riding a pursuit vehicle. Well, it's not a real cop bike, but an Indian pursuit. What do you think? Is it beautiful? What do we have here? We got Brembo brakes, Metzler tires, I like those. We have uh, some lights down at the bottom. We have lowers and the lowers are open. Something you wanna make sure of when you test ride a bike on an 80 something degree day. Open the, lo the lowers. You have a radiator. I like radiators on bikes. LED lights. An adjustable windshield, I believe. And it's the little things that impress me, like a quilted seat, so you get some airflow to your bum. And look at the grips. You know, your hands aren't shaped flat. So the Harley condoms that you find on most stock uh, Harley showroom bikes that are just flat, I don't like them. This has a slight curve to it, it looks like, but it certainly has ribs, which are just like the hair bands I put on all my bikes. I don't need to alter these grips. We have an analog speedometer and tachometer, and of course, the whole computer display with stereo speakers. Gas cap straight up on the front, no surprises there. Auxiliary light switch. We are on the Indian Challenger Pursuit. It is 1901 cc's, I'm told. Which happens to meet their established date of 1901, preceding Harley by two years. However, every Harley person out there will remind us that Indian disappeared for many years and it's actually Polaris. Well, Harley disappeared for a few years because it became AMF. Uh, however, Harley has been, in fact, Harley for a lot longer than Indian has been back. Oh look, Indian motorcycle on my, on my watch. So we're facing north, that's true. Fuel range is 150, that'll get me through a demo ride. This bike has 5,675 miles on it. Ride command. Guess you gotta press some buttons. It's not a touch screen, apparently. Uh, let's do standard mode. Oh, it is a touch screen. Look at that. Cool. My phone keeps going off. Where's my phone? It's in the glove box. Hope you all can see that. We have different kind of charging port. That's almost a battery tender port. We have a gear indicator. I'm in neutral. Temperature gauge, compass. Up here again is a compass, 85 degrees today. It's good to test a bike when it's 85 because then you find out just how hot it gets on your legs. We'll find out today. Look, Harley Davidson, ever seen this before? Adjustable windshield. So, brake test. Front brake has some dive, nothing unexpected. Rear brake. Big honking rear brake. Very good. Get it, start going, and you like it. The cone test. <laughs> The 
torque on this. Yes, indeed. Let me drop this windshield a bit. There we go. Fourth gear. Oh, this is cross-country torque right here. I have nice big floorboards for my feet, so my legs can go anywhere. You can stretch them, you can pull them back. It's the glory of floorboards. <clears throat> the bars are right about the width of my shoulders, which is what I look for on a bike. You don't get that on too many adventure bikes. Gear shift is uh, firm and solid. I'll give it that much. Yeah, if you want a bike that makes you feel fully protected, the Challenger is a good choice. I think the fairing is a little closer than most road glides. It looks a little bigger than most road glides. Of course, with the adjustable windshield, you can tame how much air you have to your helmet. I lowered it and I have just the perfect amount skimming into the air scoop of my helmet. I love having a gear indicator. So we redlined at about 6,500 RPMs. That's not a whole lot, but this is a V-twin cruiser after all, and they're all very much like this. I know, I said all. Somebody's going to correct me and tell me they've got a V-twin cruiser that goes up to 10,000 or 12,000 RPMs. Whatever. Feel free to correct me. The comments get me uh, more viewership on YouTube. Vibration. What vibration? I love the sound of it. It's got a very low chug, and I've always noticed that about the Indians, the big Indians. They have a lower sound stock than most Harleys come, come with stock. And I really do enjoy that. I love a big, deep, low thrum coming out of the exhaust. And we're barely lit on this engine. I mean, I'm at 2400 RPMs. And I'm not in sport mode, I'm just in standard mode. Oh, this is enjoyable though. The seat. The seat is hugging my butt. It is all around me. Um, that could get hot on a hot day. Like I said, it is quilted though, so some attempt has been made to keep you cool. Oh, this is a pleasant ride. Thank you, Indian, for sponsoring this, for bringing these bikes out from Minnesota. I do Harley rides too. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm sure there's some on the channel already. What else can I tell you about it? I can tell you the ergonomics are absolutely perfect. I love that throaty growl. And you know, sound is half of the pleasure of the bike. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, when I ride my Fury, it's not the most comfortable bike on the planet, but I like the way I've made it sound. Well, this bike comes stock with a very throaty growl, like a beast. 
So if I said I'd like to ride this across the country, can I leave tomorrow? We have cows here. With this big, huge ferrying in the front, you feel like you could take one of them on. <laughs> yeah, I hit a cow once. No, I never have. The mirrors, they're not huge. They're teardropped, and they're just right. I don't think I'd have to change a thing to them. Now, I fall in love with every, almost every bike I ride, so I'm sure, you know, anybody that's ridden them more than a day might have some complaints, but so far I haven't found one. It's very light to lift off the side stand, surprisingly. Now, I'm going to guess that there's one thing I can't do with it that I could have done with my wing. And that is stand up. We're pointing at some debris in the road, don't even know what it was. Yeah, I don't know if I could stand up on it. I'm not gonna try. It's not that kind of bike. I don't wanna get kicked out of the test rides. That's the kind of thing I do when I test ride bikes on my own. Oh, I know. One of you is going to come up and say, Oh, I stand up on mine all the time. I don't even have a seat on it anymore. I just stand up and ride it. Oh, great. Good to know. Please leave the comments. And the more entertaining the comments, the better off. 85 degrees can be a little warm to test ride V-twin sometimes. I have a little heat on my right ankle, but nothing that any other bike would not give me. It is not a hot engine. It's water-cooled. This is not the Indian Roast Master. This is enjoyable. What a pleasant ride. I'm very impressed. Let's get my phone. <laughs> so let's take a look at the inside. Fairly roomy. I found the key fob. That's a heavy lid probably from that carpeted inside with a charging port well 12 volt socket I would make that a charging port I give it two thumbs up fine bike Indian I like it